What is up guys, West Tech Gaming here. Today I'm going to be showing you my two-pack CD collection because it's gone quite big now as you've seen. And I kind of want to show you guys what I have in my two-pack collection. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Right, okay, so this is like all the two-pack CDs I have, right? It, it takes up the majority of my CD collection, right? Because I know a lot of you may be interested in seeing it. And I thought I wanted to just kind of separate videos on some of the stuff. I thought, I thought, what's the point in that? And I thought it'd be more interesting just to put it all in the one video. So let, let's take a look at the first pile right here, right? So let's start with the first one, right? I got two pack of snow, obviously. Then this is the original one that was first press release in 1991. And you can tell that by the disc, right? Because the disc is normally not this color. Uh, the disc is a different color than the reissued ones, but the original ones, right? They are black, right? So that, that's how you know you've got an original one right there. This was first, Tupac's first debut album in the rap game. Right, if we go to the next one, we've got Strictly, right? This is Tupac's next album right here. Definitely another classic album right here. Right here, you've got some definitely some classic tracks in here. We've got Holler If You Hear Me, Keep Your Head Up, you know, I Get Around. There's so many classic songs in this album right here. You know, such a classic album right here. So this is Tupac's second album, right? Right, next we got Tupac's Thug Life album, right? Now I have two copies of this, right? I've got the original one, which was first press release in 1984, and I've got the reissued one right here. Now, the difference being, right, there's some like difference in the logo on the back, I'm far as I'm aware. So over here it says Out of the Gutter Records, and over here, it doesn't have any of that. You see, it says Jive right there, and all the new companies like Amal Records and Jive. Whereas over here, it says Out of the Gutter Records, which was, the, and, and you've got the Interscope logo right there. So you don't have any of that on the remastered one, right? But that's how you can tell if you've got an original, right? Take a look at the disc, and the disc looks like that, pretty much. So this is definitely such a classic album. This is definitely one of my favorite Tupac albums. The songs like Bury Me A G, you know, How Long Will They Mourn Me, Stay True, Straight Bowling, Created To The Grave. Definitely love it a lot, right? I can go back and listen to it, the whole track list and everything like that and not get bored of it, you know, still to this day. As I say in every video, right, he changes in each and every album, right, from Tupac of Snow to Strictly, from Thug Life, you know, so he changes in each and every album. That's why I can never have a favorite Tupac album, right? And that's just the remastered one right here. And over here, I've got two copies of this as well somewhere. I've got the remastered one, right, and I've got the original one. Now this is the original one right here. You can kind of tell, because it's kind of battered in a little bit, but this is the original one, right? And you can tell over here with the logos as well. See, it's all about the logos, right? If you really want to tell like, if it's original, if it's not, because you won't, you won't really tell from first appearance because they all will look the same. But it's just the logos right there to tell if it's an original one from back in the day. So let's take a look at the disc and see what we get. So that's what the disc looks like of this one right here. He was going through so much in this, in this time period, right? He was definitely going through a lot. The false rape charge, he got shot five times. So his mentality was a little bit darker, you know. It was a little bit darker mentality right here with songs like If I Die Tonight, Me Against the World. And I think so, Tupac shows his feelings a lot more in his album of what he felt. And he, he made you feel what he felt at the time. So that's not what a lot of rappers can do. You could just feel his emotion, his pain everything he was going through at the time and he was going through so much uh, and a lot of Tupac fans that's their favorite Tupac album compared to All Eyes On Me because it's up to personal preference at, at the end of the day because they're very different albums Tupac albums I'm going to go back to 1984 right because I missed out on the soundtrack of Above The Rim right like I love it so much the movie is so sick the soundtrack is so sick it's a mix of R&B and rap music hip-hop music right here and I love it so much right if you've never watched this movie, I'd highly suggest you go and watch it. I've also got a single right here to go with it, right? Because some of these songs on here are not in it. Like the songs Pain or Loyal to the Game, the original version, those songs are missing. And I think Regulate is missing. No, Regulate is on there, right? But there's two songs in here on the single that are not on the actual soundtrack right here. I highly suggest you go and pick this up. And this was released in 1994, right? So that's pretty much it. And then we're going to go to the All Eyes On Me, right? All Eyes On Me. That's all I'm going to say, man. All Eyes On Me is the first album he released when he came out of jail, man. Look at all those classic tracks right here. A double CD album right here. And he was the first rapper to do a double CD album. But this is kind of a more celebratory and party album. And that's what he was kind of going for in this album, right? Right here. 
But definitely highly suggest you go and pick this up. You need All Eyes On Me in your collection. Especially when the All Eyes On Me movie's coming out soon. You should definitely stock up on all your two-pack CD collection, right? And listen to all the classic tracks. And I'll also say with this one, this is the original one as well. And you can tell, right, with the discs, right? The discs are green with this one. If you had the remastered one, right, the discs are white. So I did do a video on this one, right? So if you really want to see me kind of showing my thoughts on this album more and kind of showcasing the CD, right? I'll leave an annotations right over there. I suggest you go and watch that, right? And over here, we've got three singles from that classic album. We've got How Do You Want It? And we've got All In The Back, right? We've got the classic infamous diss song, Hit Em Up, man. Hit Em Up is the most infamous diss song of all time, man, honestly. Okay, I don't care what anyone says, man. That's so raw, man, honestly. And also, I don't know, because it's a mix for me between Against All Lords and Hit Em Up. Hit Em Up, man, that's a straight, like, firing shots, man, honestly. But Against All Lords goes more deeper, you know. But on this CD, right, don't be rambling on about that. Obviously, we've got more tracks in the CD as well. Um, you've got Hell Mob, also, you know how I feel about that song. And we've got also got I Am Mad At You single right here. And you also got some songs over there. So that's pretty much it. And we've got California Love single. Definitely such a classic song. They still play the song on the radio till this day, man. That's, that just shows you how classic this, uh, this song is. So that's pretty much all of Tupac's albums he pretty much released when he was alive, pretty much. Now we kind of go on to his post-mortem material, right? Over here, we got the Machiavelli album. Now, I know this is not like a post-mortem album because it was released in 1986, but it did, it did release after he passed away. So I kind of put that in that category over there. But this is a more deeper album. This is like a... Like, it's more deeper. He goes really deep in his album. He has that war type theme in his album, right? Now, I did do a review of the original version of this vinyl record, right, on the channel. I'll leave it on the annotations over there, right? So you can check out my thoughts on it a little bit more because I go more in depth in it. But right here, we've got the gang related one. We've got the gridlock one, which was released after Tupac passed away. And you've got some, you can kind of show you the tracks in the back right there. You've got Wanted Dead or Alive. you got Never Had a Friend Like Me. So you kind of got some unreleased two-pack songs at the time on these kind of albums they kind of put it over the soundtracks they did and also they you kind of got all the songs that were featured in this movie right here so that's pretty much that and also over here it shows you more tracks featured in this movie as well you can see that it's a shame that he passed two-pack passed away because i would like to see him do more movie stuff because he was a really good actor as well as a rapper and that's what a lot of people don't really know about him. They just think he's a rapper. He was more than a rapper. He was a poet. He, he was an actor as well. And so he, he had a lot to him as well that people didn't really know, uh, you know, about him. But he definitely had a lot of talent. And it's a shame that, you know, he passed away, unfortunately. So, yeah, there's are these two soundtracks right here. And I kind of move back a little bit because there's some, it's kind of not in order, right? But, but over here, right, after the soundtracks, I think... These came out, this came out after the soundtrack or before the soundtracks. I'm pretty sure actually this came out after the Machiavelli album, right? But anyway, this is a post-mortem two-pack album and this is the best post-mortem album, right? The best one. Because Johnny J did an amazing job with the beats in his album. He did an amazing production in his album and he pretty much kept everything exactly the same. And that's what I love about this album so much. Don't get put off by it because it's a post-mortem album. Definitely get that. Definitely get it, right? An attitude collection. It's so sick it is. Greatest Hits album came out, right? Two-pack Greatest Hits. I did do a review video of this, right? Of the vinyl record version and the CD version right here. But as I said in those videos, right? It's a good mixture of all two-pack songs, an album. And it kind of shows a, a new fan or a newcomer to two-pack's music of what all his music, all his music was about across all his different albums he released, right? So I definitely highly suggest you go and pick this up, right? It's up and add it to your collection because it's a good mixture of all of Tupac songs right here. So so obviously over here we got Tupac and Outlaws, Still I Rise. Now I didn't mind this post-mortem album. It's not too bad, right? But there is some remixes they should have left, like Tattooed Tears, the song Tattooed Tears, right? They should have left that, that, that song original and You Could Be Touched and You All Don't Know Us. You know, like, they should have left some songs, but at the same time, they did leave all the songs pretty much original, so it's not too bad, but it's a good two-pack post mortem album, but it's not the worst one they put out there, so definitely a good album it is. Like, the songs I like is The Good Die Young, Lair to the President, um, As the World Turns, Homeboys, Hell for a Hustler, you know, songs like that, but there's some songs I felt like they should have kept original, right? But 
And over here we got Until the End of Time. Now this wasn't a bad two-pack post-mortem album, but it's not like, you know, like the original one. Like the original one is just a lot better, you know. Now if I didn't listen to the original one, maybe I would have felt a little bit different about it, but once you listen to the original one, trust me man, you'll understand, right? Same with this album right here, right? Same with this one, right? There's a lot of remixes in this, right? I'm not kind of feeling, and there's some that are original. And you know, some of them I can I kind of I kind of can jam to, but once you listen to the original one, right, of this album as well, you'll understand, right? And the original versions are on YouTube for free to, to watch, right, and listen to. So definitely, definitely go and check that out, right? Also over here, right, we got this CD collection, right? Now this, I think they kind of released this album for money pretty much. And that's what I think with this one. Like it's not really necessary to have in your collection because all these songs in here are pretty much on all these albums, right? And you can just go and listen to them on all those albums. So I think they just did this album for money, you know, because all the songs are on All Eyes On Me, a lot of the songs are, and the Strictly album, Better Days, you know, they're across all the albums, right? So it's not really a need to go and pick this up, but I just thought just go and pick it up because it was only five pounds and I thought, just add it to my collection, you know. So also over here, I've got this one as well. So this is the Death Row Records, the Death Row Records presents the ultimate best of the works of all these artists right here. We've got Tupac, Dr. Dre, and Snoop Dogg right here. And that's pretty much all the songs featured in each and every CD right here. Well, they're definitely, they're, they're kind of, it's kind of like a greatest hits for each artist. Like Dr. Dre, you got nothing but G thing, Gin and Juice, you know, Tupac, you got Only Gods Can Judge Me, Two America's Most Wanted, you know, and Snoop Dogg, you got Who Am I, What's My Name, The Shiznit, you know, you got songs like that. So pretty much kind of like a greatest hits of these various different artists right here. So that's pretty much that one right here. And I also do have this one as well, right? Which is which is in this collection as well, right? But I wanted to go and get this one because this was only a pound on Amazon, right? Only a pound, right? So I thought why not just go and get it? Even though I'm, even though I'm getting a repeat of this one right here, I don't have like the Dr. Dre one or the Snoop Dogg one. So I thought why not just go and get it? It's only a pound it was. So this is pretty much the same as what's in here of the two pack CD. So pretty much the same it is. And that's what that CD looks like right here. And so this was pretty much released, right, um, for money, pretty much, right. There's some originals in here, and there's a lot of remixes in here, a lot of remixes. There's some songs from the One Nation album, and there's, like, some songs like Thug Nature, which wasn't released, like, you know, on the Machiavelli album. Some other ones are, pretty much all of the other ones are just remixes, pretty much, so... That's pretty much it, because you got DMX on there, you got Exhibit on there, so they, they pretty much made this album for money, so it's not really necessary to have in your collection, right? So these two were released, these are kind of like a greatest hits kind of type album right here, you kind of got some songs in here. Now these are kind of remix, some remix songs in here, and there's some originals, part one over here, and there's part two over here, so they're pretty much kind of greatest hits type albums right here. There's a resurrection album right here, so this was kind of to go alongside the resurrection kind of documentary slash movie type thing right right there so also we got this right here we got the two pack live cd so it's kind of like the live concert from the house of blues on the cd right here you can kind of see the tracks in there definitely such a classic concert right there these are the last two cds i have in my collection we got the all eyes on me remastered and we got the me against the world remastered so that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for one of my CD collection. I think I missed this one out. This one is not my favourite to pack up Paul's Mortem album because this is, there's a lot of songs in here they should have kept original but you know this kind of sounds like an Eminem album rather than a two-pack album you know but I guess it's cool if you're an Eminem fan but me being a two-pack fan I just, I'm not really feeling the CD too much you know but that's pretty much it right that's pretty much it for my CD collection my two-pack CD collection right here. Let me know what you think of this down below, right? I just thought it'd be interesting doing a video on this and, you know, putting it on the channel because my two-pack CD collection has gone really big, right? But that's pretty much it for this video right here. Be sure to check out my full vinyl record slash album review playlist down below or in the annotations over there. But that's pretty much it for this video right here. Leave a like if you like this video right here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys next time. Now you're probably wondering, Wasted Gamer, you already unboxed the All Eyes On Me album on your channel. And yes I did, and it was this one right here. Now if you don't notice the difference, right, this is the digital remastered version. But this is the original version that came out in 1996. The one that was first press release. 
All right, this is the actual, the true original one because there's two original ones, keep in mind. There's the one with the white discs, with the black writing, and there's one with the green disc. This is the one with the green disc right here.